All right, very quickly, fix and jump on the 5075 and take the bush hog off real quick. In that cardboard box sitting right over there is the third valve to go to mount down here on this tractor. What I'm going to do, I'm going to plumb it. I'm fixing to put it on. I'm going to film it as I'm going along so y'all can kind of see how it goes. I've never put one of those on. But if I can install a grapple saw on my loader after this has been done being built, I can install this thing on here. So everything's supposed to be in the box already. And, of course, the loader's already plumbed up. Plumbed up to right there. And got plenty of grease in it. Grease there. So that's what today's project's going to be. I've been off, uh, well, we're off this week on vacation. We always have one week a year that we just shut completely down and just completely shut the whole crew down. And this week's been a good week for that because we got a tropical storm coming in and it's raining out there right now. You probably can't tell it on the camera, but it's raining. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to back out here, drop this bush hog, and go to town on this thing, see what kind of progress I can make on it. So in this box, it's supposed to be everything that I need. We're fixing to open and find out. So it looks like everything's in here. All the hoses, there's the valve. Right there, there's the mount on it. Wires, uh, here's the joystick top. It gets a completely new joystick on it, right there. So this is what I really like about this kit right here that I got. It comes with a new joystick top. See it? And right there is your toggle. Right there, it works the grapple. Or it works whatever you got hooked on the front of it right there. Simple, simple, simple. Three wires, easy peasy. All right, got the valve installed. It just bolts. You don't have to do no drilling or anything. It just bolts right at the bottom of these uh, carriage bolts right there on the bracket that they include with it. They said A and B valve is up, A and B valve is up, so we're going to the next step. All right, I'll show y'all where I'm at now. You connect on to the power beyond port, which is that one over there. You take this line, this line off of the power beyond port and connect that, but connect that line to it and then connect uh, that line right there to the power beyond port. And what I did was I just ran the lines through the, through the hose protector all the way up here. To right there and connect it onto the bottom ports where it said got the valve mounted right there so now that's pretty much it because these two lines right here connect on that's what feeds the bottom of those right there and then all i gotta do is run the wires to it, take the top of the joystick off so i'm not into it but, uh i mean it's only taking me just a few minutes to do to do that part right there all right, so these are the lines that's going to feed the loader right here. But what I'm going to do, I don't need these lines right here. So these lines, so all I need to do, I need to change these fittings out to fit the quick connects over there on that loader where they'll plug in to where these, these right here, these two right here need to go right there. And then the hoses on the loader will plug in to right there instead of right here. So I'm gonna have to have an adapter to do that, but which is no big deal. I got there's a place here in Columbus. I can get an adapter that will uh, fit on those three edges right there and adapt to this flat face O-ring fitness on the bottom of these right here. So no biggie. I'll get that later. But here's uh, here's all the wiring you do. You take the red wire and you just tap it into. A hot wire which I'm gonna tap it into one that's on the key when you turn the key on then it'll energize the, the switch and everything here see that how sweet that is nothing to it man so you'll never have to take your hand off of this to work the work the grapple and that's why I wanted this kit right here okay so I'm gonna connect it in here's your fuse panel right here I'm gonna connect this red wire in I'm gonna splice it in in the back of the fuse panel right there's what I'm gonna do and it, it'll be fused. I've got a fuse with it over there, too. And then these two black wires in, they just run all the way back. I'm going to run them up through here, and they just connect on right here. You just splice them right there is all you do right there. And so I'll, when I splice it, I'll check it to see what, which way it works because I want the down 
toggle to close it and I want the up toggle to open it so if I hook it up and it's backwards all I got to do is just swap just swap the wires and it'll work the way that I want it to work but that's all it is to it man that is it that is it it'll keep you from having to run lines from the grapple all the way to the back and then work them off of here because that's what I didn't want I didn't want to work the grapple off of these and take my hand off of here that made no sense to me whatsoever to have to take your hand off of this to work the grapple right there see now you keep your hand sitting right there on that you got your forward reverser over there drive it steer it open and close the grapple everything right there just bam bam no no biggie so that's all there is to it i'll get it wired on up and i'll uh i'll do some i'll show some stuff on it probably gonna take this cover off right here it's just uh, six bolts that holds it on. Take it off where I can run a wire back in there behind it and, and bring it up beside that wire loom right there and put it in there. Okay, this is where I'm at. I've got this plumbed in. I didn't have no uh, black zippy ties. I'm going to get some and I'm going to take and cut all these off and put some black ones back on where they don't look so bad. But you can see I got the joystick with a switch on and just all zippy tied in. The only thing I got to do now is put the fuse and then tap this power wire in behind the fuse box right there that'll be good there's the wires that run to the up to the valve they go to the valve and if they are backwards if the if the when i hit the switch if it if it the valve does work backwards all i've got to do is take this screw out and that screw out and flip flip this thing over and it'll be correct or i can undo the wires either one whichever way whichever way floats my boat but this is a nice clean setup this valve come from wr long is who it come from it's about a thousand dollars i think for it now the only thing i got to do is is i've just got to get some adapters that will adapt from that size fitting right there because i'm going to take this one and this one off and then i need to screw screw this one on it so that's the only thing i got to do and once i do that it'll work now while y'all are watching this video i am going to be on my way to florida to pick up a grapple for the for the loader over there and it's a bad to the bone grapple too man uh one of my youtube followers happened to uh to see it or or i saw his on his tractor started asking him about it and that's the one i went with man there's going to be a video come from it so don't worry tell you all about it but it's a uh it's not your normal grapple that uh that these dealers sell so uh be watching for that but uh so i'm gonna wire it up uh throw the loader back on it loader's easy peasy to get on and off no problem whatsoever and uh be watching i'm gonna try y'all know i went and uh met with uh one lonely farmer uh the other day while we were up in new york we'd been going to new york we spent four days up in uh, new york city and then i rented a car and drove over into uh, new jersey to see uh wes over there and so there's going to be a couple of videos that's going to come from that from that visit really cool stuff really really cool stuff and that he and i did together but uh i hope to get that video up sunday morning if i don't it'll be monday morning when i get that first one of those videos up so I'll be looking for that to uh to come out so yeah it'll be me and uh, one lonely farmer together uh but uh so y'all be good i don't know how long this video is going to be it's taken me about an hour to do what i did on this tractor so far except for wiring in the hot wire and i'm finna do that right quick so y'all be good i'll catch y'all later later taters oh if you like my stuff subscribe to me man uh please subscribe to me it don't cost you anything even if you don't like my stuff click subscribe it ain't gonna hurt a thing appreciate all y'all appreciate all the views um i know i appreciate the people who watch day in and day out that don't comment i know you're there and i appreciate it and i appreciate your views and uh and i appreciate the ones who comment all the time so see y'all later, later taters
All right, I wasn't going, this video's never going in. I was not going to wire it up, but I went ahead and did it because I wanted to hear it click before I left. So I'm going to put my hand on the button here and listen right here. So there she goes, boys and girls. She's ready to rock and roll. All I got to do is change those fittings out. Get my gravel. She'll be ready to go. Easy peasy, I uh, just tapped it into one of the wires down there in the back of the fuse box. Got a fuse on it. Uh, all nice and neat. Everything in wireline. Taking me, I could probably do this job now that I've done it. I could probably do it in about 45 minutes or less, probably. So I know what I'm doing. It took me about an hour total. Uh, I was on the phone with Kuyu Sal Jason for 45 minutes or so, at least that. He's worse than a woman I'm telling you. He's worse than a woman. He would do good working in the beauty shop. Just saying. But anyhow, yeah, so I just wanted to, I got it fixed to where it's on a key switch so that when, when I turn the key off, it don't click no more. So there's no power coming to it. So that's good. But uh, that's how you install a third valve. Uh, so many people don't know about this. They run the lines back here to the to the remote and hook it in right there. They're scared to do it. We fool with hydraulic stuff every day. This is simple, 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 easy. Plug and play directions are very simple how to do it. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I'm gone this time for real. I ain't going to be back. Later, taters! I lied once again. I figured I'd crank it up and check it for leaks or anything. Watch the lines right there. She's ready, baby. She is ready. That's what I'm talking about. About a freaking hour, man, to put that thing in. About an hour. Only thing is, I've got to... I'm going to make me something that this line right here... It's going to end up sitting up in, on here on, and will probably be tied to this line right here. That's the only thing I really got to do is that right there. But simple, 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 simple. My friends, just simple directions there to do it. That's all. The, that's really all the directions right there. And it just goes to the power beyond port. The power beyond port is flowing all up here to it circulating back down and it's just picking oil up and sending it to the grapple or whatever you got on the front of it either one but this is the neatest thing this that's the best part is having that right there on that stick where you can run it with your thumb so once again y'all gonna get triple quadruple dose later taters